guy, very old man I see here, Robert Rovers. Man is the man is the only insane species. Man is the only insane species. He worships the invisible God and destroys a visible nature. Very nicely said. You should go and put it in India. Unaware that the nature he's destroying is the God he is worshipping. You see this what a man. I like this guy. Who is this guy? Again I'm telling you, he's saying man is the only species. He worships the invisible God and destroys the visible nature. Unaware that the nature he is destroying is the God he is worshipping. Beautiful guys, really nice. Yes. Rupert, Mr. Rupert, Mr. Herbert, release. See how nice he says that. Again, I'm repeating. Man is the most insane species. He worships an invisible God and destroys the visible nature. Unaware that nature is destroying is the God he is worshipping. Hinduism. Nature is God. That's Hinduism. The originality of Hinduism. But now they put so many things and make man the God. That's all. Mm -hmm. When you talk about it, people get angry. So sad. Yes. You see, you see the nature beings will come to you. They just, they just want us to be friends. People are getting away from nature terribly. Doing all the wrong things. Sacrificing animals for some selfish need of your own thing. Uh, I still went, I went to Iran. There were two, two sheep were killed in front of the house. The sheep were there, dead, and the blood was flowing on the road. I said, why are you doing this? Oh, they just came back from Mecca. As a grain it was in, they just cut two goats and throw outside the thing, in the house. Of course, they're going to cook it. They cook it in. But see how they do it at the entrance of the house. So how can nature beings like you? How can nature beings like your country? How can nature beings like your place for what you do? Nature beings go away, my friend. They will go away. It's very important to understand that. It's very important to understand that. They don't talk about this. Hmm? So he's saying that, why not? I know what is shallops. I know what is this. But don't put angels, angels. When, when people start putting angels with face of people, uh, holding a cross, holding some warm, those are not angels. They, they, these people are not all the angels and fairies or whatever you want to call it. They got nothing to, be, to do with man-made religion. Nothing. They were here before mankind was even erected. Man, mankind, they were here a long time back. And they are here to take everything work in front. They're showing the beast. They'll talk about it in the, in the nature being class. Okay? I can't talk now. Okay? It is our religion. Earth is our temple. Nature is our religion. Earth. Let's start doing this. Look at nature around. How can we keep them clean? How can we keep them coming and coming and coming and being with us? Okay, nice. Why? Some are asking, why shouldn't the nature beings put? Why should the nature beings bother? When people are so negative, so full of shit, why should they bother? They just walk away. Understand? It's like nature beings. It's like a special guy to help us. If you're, if you're taking alcohol and doing all the stupid things and shouting and screaming, you think you'll be a friend with them? Yes, you've got a friend shouting and screaming and taking alcohol and smoking. Would you be near him? Would you let him go and you walk away? Unless you're the wife or your son and you go and pick him up and do whatever you want. Otherwise, you don't bother. Like the nature beings do not need to do anything for mankind because mankind are destroyers. Remember this. Huh? The ocean likes mankind. You go and catch everything you bring back, whether small or big fish, and you just bring them back. You care about how many much ship when he must go fishing, when he must not go fishing, you follow anything? So like that. So don't ever ask why the nature beings are not helping us. Why? I ask you, why should nature beings help you? Why? Because you're good? You're very caring? You love nature? You love Mother Earth? Are you doing anything like that to help Mother Earth? Hmm? Fly down there and make the nest and you've got to make the beginning. How to make the start, the, the, the first foundation. You start all the way. Now you've got to fight the rain. You've got to put the egg. Keep it from other things from attacking them, other birds from eating the egg. So much of the work they have to do. All these are because of nature beings that you and I cannot see. They guide them. They are there teaching them how. They are flying beside them. Something you don't see. The divine knowledge goes to each and every one of them to do their work. That's what they are saying, nature beings. 
watch how beautiful they are. I think it's a Malayali song. I think it's a Malayali song. Hmm? So thank you for whoever this, and thank you to all the nature beings for teaching all of these little little guys to do their work so perfectly. So they have to grow. Even the hummingbird has to make its nest. At the same time, they have to find food. They have to eat. So much thing they have to do. Okay, so thank Mother Nature. Thank to all the nature beings of this world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, why? Now we have what this book called uh, the Kingdom of God. And uh, he sees this guy is called Peter Peter Houston. He's a clairvoyant. He sees things with eyes, and this is what happens. He sees them all. Mm -hmm. This is the the ocean. This is a salamander. This is a tree. This is on the tree. Tree beings. This is on the mountain. So you don't look at a the mountain. There's something there in the mountain that you and I don't know. We call it mountain gods. Okay, like that. In Tamil, they call Malachami. Malachami. Mm -hmm. There's some god, some being. It's not God, but some being who is taking care of the mountains, the way the mountain works and all. Hmm? In fact, we have gone to this Talipusam temple, Portuguese, many times through the blessing. And every time that something happens, something happens, I don't want to talk about here. Because I get, I get condemned by some people who are crazy enough to do some stupid things, you know. So I'm not interested in that, okay. So all mountain gods, they are the one ruling the place. So right now the Bhatti gave there must have been a mountain god. So one man bent down there and sat down there. He must have got a vision. And the guy put one god down there and that's it. All finished. All gone. That the whole mountain is a mess now. Hmm? Like that. Now look at it. You look at the mountain. But look there's something beyond that mountain. We call it mountain gods. Beings of the mountain. And they take a charge of this. They are also trying very hard to bring the level of the volcano power down. They're trying very hard. They, they don't want it to burst and, and they damage mankind. Not mankind actually. All the beings surrounding all will all be gone. They themselves tried very hard for that to not to happen. Because I went down there once in a Gunam Marapi in Borobudur. We were going down, the nature beings came and told us, uh, please excuse us, we can't follow you tonight. We are here, we are all going to the mountain. They're going to bless the mountain so the mountain will not erupt. Yes, the mountain did not erupt. Yes, the mountain did not erupt. It even erupts a little bit. At that time I can see the lava coming out from where I was there. I can see the lava coming out, red color lava coming out. And there were a lot of uh, specks of uh, dust falling all over the place. It was there when I was there. It's Guna Marapi. Mm -hmm. In fact, the last time we blessed Guna Marapi, I don't see any issue there now. Okay? Right. I think in one of the cousins, we blessed Guna Marapi with all of us together. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the mountain gods. They look different in different, different ways from each, each, each and every country. How beautiful they are. It's exactly what he saw and he drew. Okay? And these are all the ferns. So they're also from the ferns. They take up all the artwork culture. This is how they look like. They look at the fern themselves. Hmm? Now, this one somebody sent me. Somebody sent me a picture. It was not paper. She took a picture on her own. She sent me. Now, this is how they look like. Now, they will make themselves. They are, they are very playful. They are not doing it for you. They just want to do it. That's all. They are not, don't think, ah, oh, they show me. No, 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 no. They are just doing it themselves. Sometimes when you connect, they are more happier that you, you connect to them. You sing, reach up into the sky, reach up into the wind, uh, bless you with all divine fire. So, wow, somebody out there is blessing me. Let's show them. And they will be they will, they will happy and they will do something and something will happen. Like this. Okay? Like that. Now look at this. This is a real thing sent to me by this girl I know. It is not something that she took a picture and she said, Sir, I saw this. Look, there's something like flying, like flying, like like, like, like lady flying down there. No? It's how you look like nearer when it become brighter. You know? Now these are all the nature beings. But sometimes there are there are invisible beings that you need to be a clear one of a certain level to see these. These are all clouds. They show you the cloud form. But they are there. They are there even without the clouds. They are there in some kind of shape. They take shape to show you how they are. Huh? Now the Devaraj in is one person who he saw that he, uh, this man called Peter Austin, he saw this thing, he saw this figure there on top of Borobudur. And he called it the Devaraj of Borobudur. He said he has never seen something so powerful, so bright, so wonderful anywhere in his travel. So that's why he called the King of Angels. The Devaraj of Borobudur. That's why he called him. He called him the Devaraj of Borobudur, the King of Borobudur. So whatever you are doing today, we can support from all the cosmic beings of Borobudur and the Devaraja of Borobudur. Okay, there are beings who are down there. 
looking, finding a way to do good, good to mankind. And people like this come, they're very happy because they're here to help other people without expecting anything in return. That's the best part. But we have to travel, so we need to help also to travel. So that way they understand. So remember this, my friend. We all are here, one, to help Mother Nature. So I want each and every one of you to participate and be one with us. Thank you, thank you. Talk in a good time. Talking means vibration. Talking vibration. And he wrote, and he had to call him the Deva Raja, King of Angels. He has seen many, many angels. He travel all over the world. But this one, he says, is the king. That's why he called them the Deva Raja of Borobudur. He's there. His energy is spreading all over the place. So sometimes you don't start having these pictures and start praying to him. It doesn't work that way. Okay? It doesn't work. So don't go crazy. I know people putting this phone. If I want, I will do it. I must don't do this. You have to become. You become the light. Learn from them. Learn from them and you become the light. Don't go and break your shoes, break your clothes, break whatever stupid things you do. And feed them. Start doing pujas. Come on, you're another human being. You're another human being. Not any one time you say, pray to me. No. You follow the divine law. You do the right thing. We will come to help you if it's necessary. Or we will send somebody else to help you. That's how. If everybody can ask forgiveness and do it properly, we will be able to remove your dark energy. Even the soul that's with you. We will be able to. But if you don't do any forgiveness, it is your karma to balance. You refuse to balance the karma or you refuse to do. Nobody can help you. Even God cannot help you. Okay. Please remember this. All, I've seen a lot of selfie people. No, oh, I don't need. I have got gurus. I've got masters. All. We all know how many masters you are. I can check and tell you what, what things you have. It's so sad to know. Explain the book of the kingdom of God. This is exactly who they are. This man has written a book on explaining about all of the nature beings of Mother Earth. The mountain beings, the ocean beings. He himself has seen them going around the whole thing and making a lot of things happen naturally. And there are people that they don't like men. Men are menace. Men are really bringing it down. They are there to bring nature up in a very fine and nice way. That's their work. Mongal is a tribute to Mother Earth and to the sun and to the nature and also for the cow. He said, thank you. And I'm not sure what's going to happen in Tamil Nadu. Are we allowed to have all these uh, procedures? Because the sad thing is they'll be cutting thousands and thousands of banana trees and putting in front of cities and, and, and uh, roads and temples and, and at least we save that in our country because they'll be locked down. There won't be any banana trees cut anywhere. It's so sad. They will waste a lot of banana trees because the one big letter is just lying on the floor and just thrown away. I've seen that happen before in India. It's very sad. So I hope this year a lot of banana trees will be saved. And coming to Taipusam, a lot of milk and a lot of banana trees and a lot of coconut will be saved. That is how nature reacts. I thank nature for doing such thing because nobody can ever stop this procedure of having this typosum in Malaysia. Thousand, thousand people go to the temple of Batikev and also in, uh, in Penang. Thousands. A lot of fire will be burned, a lot of camphor will be burned, a lot of pollution, and also a lot of milk will be thrown and gone to the drain. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of coconut will be broken as a competition. One floor will break 108 coconut, one floor will break 1,008 coconut, and they'll break and break and break. I hope it all stops this time. No more. I feel so thankful for that happen. Let it go to everyone who listens to me. Let it go everywhere. This is how Mother Nature, because we have been asking for this for a long time. Where will it stop? And all this happened after going to Batikev and doing a lot of blessings. Many people have come to us and gone to Batikev and we have blessed the nature beings there. Because we are inhabiting their place and making a mockery of that place. This is not your place. It is their place. At least you can go down there, be silent. Do something, come back, not burn the camphor, not do all kind of things. You go and tell this to everybody. I don't care. I don't care. Mm? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother Nature, for all that you do for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, thank you. Put it, make this another video, my friend. I'm sure you're watching. Make another video of this and say, this man is saying that. Thank you. But I know mil hundreds of thousands of liters will be, of milk will be saved. 
on that one day or two days or three days or four days. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is it those ten minutes the giant ship was spread in the Swiss Canal? Okay. But uh, what what is guided? Salvation used a kite and the full moon to pull the ship from the deep inside the sandy bar. Remember, this is tight. Remember, we blessed the ocean, the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. This is a report that came today. Did they say, okay? High, amid high winds and poor visibility, as part of the effort, they shoveled 3,000 cubic meters, one was sand, and moved the part of the canal wall. Part of the was five days wait, okay? That's that. And this is the guy, huh? and according to the book, okay? He was saying, this is the guy, huh? They're saying, we were enormously helped. We were enormously helped, according to this guy. The owners, of the big team that bring the salvage team. So big team became a salvage team, okay? His name is Peter Borges, Chief ex Officer of Gaga. He's saying that we were in order to have with a strong tide and force of nature that pushed hard, even harder than the two tugboat that pulled as told by the Dutch radio. Can you imagine, my friend? Listen to me. That's what we all did. We bless Mother Nature. Mother Nature can give you ideas, do a lot of things. He's saying, again I repeat, we were enormously helped by the strong tide, the forces of nature that pushed hard, even harder than the two tugboat that pulled it. They sent the two tugboat there. Nature pulled it even harder. So, I think that's, yeah. huh? so don't make fun of us. Hmm? It's going pretty and going now. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm.